Hi, I'm George from Melling. Thanks for clicking. This tech video is about LS engine oil pump priming. From the calls we are getting in the tech department, it seems that many people are having a problem at engine startup getting their LS engine to prime. The pumps on these engines are crank mounted and do not set on the oil as on previous engines. Many people are replacing the oil pump in the chassis without removing the oil pan and screen assembly tube. You must remember that when doing this, you can't inspect the screen for blockage due to normal varnish buildup on the screen. This can be a problem. This problem is also for a fresh engine rebuild that may have set for a while. This by no means replaces pressure lubing the engine with our MPL 101 that will pre-lube the moving engine parts. Now pay close attention to these details. First, let's look at the screen tube O-ring. Read the instructions that come with the pump and two O-rings. If the screen tube you are using has a groove or is tapered where the O-ring goes, use the thicker green O-ring. If your present OE tube has a red O-ring, use our green O-ring. If your present OE screen tube is straight and has the blue O-ring, use our black O-ring. If you are replacing the screen with one of our screens, use the O-ring supplied with the screen assembly. Lube the O-ring with your engine oil and install it over the screen and then insert the tube into the pump. This screen will snap into the pump snugly. Now we will pre-lube or prime the pump. Make sure your oil level is correct and you have filled the oil filter with oil. Using a number eight hex Allen wrench, remove the oil galley plug on the left lower front corner of the block. Using a 3 8 ID by two foot long length of fuel hose, screw it into the threaded hole in the block about an inch and a half where you remove the plug. Place a funnel over the hose and pour eight ounces of your engine oil slowly into the funnel. As you can see, I've installed a clear cover on the pump for demonstration purposes so you can see the oil in the pump. Wait about three minutes and then unscrew and remove the hose. Replace the gallery plug and tighten. Finish your engine assembly. Now you should be able to start the engine without a problem. If you do not have oil pressure at this point, do not run the engine until you have corrected the problem. So remember, pay close attention to these details. I'm George from Melling. Thanks for clicking.